check this out. Those of you that have been watching my channel for a while know uh, I haven't done a lot of aviation things. I'm starting to do some more, but I scored a deal on a couple of 1952 Cessna 170s. Uh, they're pretty awesome airplanes. I have boxes of uh, maintenance logs, all kinds of history from them. Um, Christina Applegate actually learned how to fly, apparently, in one of these. But let's jump on the Gator. We'll go check them out. Uh, I'm, I don't do a lot of talking in the rest of this video. It's just showing you the airplanes. Throw in some comments on mods you think I should do. If you think I should do like a Cessna 180 gear, the big Tundra tires, that's what I'm gonna do. Then let me know your thoughts. Um, any other kind of mods, there's a few different ones I wanna do. Um, these are awesome, check it out. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe. I'm gonna go through uh, over the next year or so, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but uh, rebuilding these airplanes, making them super cool.
1952-170 Bravo. 1952-170 Bravo. This one is uh, actually, I think, in better shape. It's kind of funny. This one, tomorrow, I'm going to take the wings off of it. And uh, we're going to stick them in a container, ship them both to Arizona, where I can put this one back together since it's flyable. This other one, the green one, got all of its tail parts there, the nose cowling, it's got the wheel pants, uh, interior, all that stuff. I'm gonna spend a bunch of time on that one and rebuild it quite a bit different rather than a stock 170. I think we're gonna go full back country. I'll put in a picture of what back country looks like for those of you that are non-aviators. This one will keep like this for quite a while just so it's flyable and enjoyable while we're working on the green one. Um, this one, 8223 Alpha, does have a stole kit on it. It's a very old one. I think it was installed in 1955, actually. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm excited about this whole project. It will be fun. Um, lots of work for sure, but stay tuned and uh, join in the adventure with me. So this one, it's got uh, 15 hours on the new engine and prop, and then it's just sat because uh, the old owner, uh, just he's pretty smart. He decided he's too old to fly and uh, just hung it up. So. We will put these to good use. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, whatever it is you're supposed to do on all this. I appreciate that. Um, throw in some comments on uh, thoughts, what I should do with these airplanes. I wanna make a uh, flying club in Arizona, tail dragger only type thing. Um, for those that aren't pilots, tail dragger, it takes a lot more work to fly those. Certain qualification stuff. I'm at work right now, sorta and uh, a bunch of airplanes out there. Sorry about the noise, but throw in some comments, uh, colors, whatever, modifications. I, I have some ideas what I wanna do, but I'm always open to people's opinions and stuff. I think it's kind of cool to see what people do with these airplanes. Um, that's it.